Hello lovely people, this is Sakino on Sunday and it's a special Sunday because it's the last day of the year and I was reflecting on the last year and whether I should do a Sakino on Sunday video and then I decided to do it because I was thinking and reflecting and the word that came up as a summary of the last year was the Yiddish expression Mishigas. Mishigas means total nonsense and total craziness. And it can be all kinds of craziness. It can be good craziness. It can be bad craziness but indeed the last year was crazy and in many aspects it was full of joy and love and um, hope and good times and it was was also full of crazy things as for instance in my personal life the uh, impossibility to go back to the United States because my visa was denied, which was out of the blue and totally unjust and uh, put me in a terrible position of not knowing whether I would see my the man that I love again, ever. But on the other side, on the other hand, <laughs> this decision of the officials also gave way to something incredibly beautiful, which is that my man came to be with me in Berlin, which was unthinkable before, but he did. And we spent beautiful time together and we decided to get married, which we had wanted anyway. But now we made it a point and that's a beautiful decision. So I'm going to get married in 2024, in January, very early on. So this whole Michigas is a mixture of emotional roller coaster from the highest highs to the deepest pits that I went into. And all in all, I can say I am so, so grateful that I have the experience of loving and being loved. That was the most beautiful this past year, that I feel so much love, especially from the man who is going to be my husband in two weeks but also from other people. I want to share a few episodes. <clears throat> One was that the students who graduated this year from my Heal Your Root training gave me a beautiful present, the most beautiful I could think of, a little booklet in which everybody wrote personal messages to me with photos of them and it touched my heart so deeply and I'm so grateful that I am able to teach and do my work as much as I love it. And it's fulfilling to do what I do. And that's what I'm so grateful for, that when I work, it doesn't feel like work. It's like a gift that I give to myself. And um, <clears throat> I wish that for everybody. I know it's obviously not happening, but I wish for everybody that whatever you do, you do it from a spirit of engagement, heart, full of love for what you do.
because then your work will be great. And by besides that, everything that you do with love and from the heart will be great. I also experienced a few sad things. One of my dearly beloved students who I really, really loved and cherished passed away just before Christmas. And it makes me sad because she was one of the most beautiful beings I know, heartful, warm, enthusiastic, just a good person, a good woman. And I feel for her family and her husband in these days. And then I want to also look into the next year. As I said, of course, the most important for me will be the marriage, to get married to the man I love. I never thought I would get married again, but it feels right and it feels good. And it feels that it is the right step to express our love in this way to the world and to our friends. And that is the most important event that I'm looking forward to. And I'm also, and that is, I'm looking forward to, and it's also scary that we don't know at which point I will be able to travel to the US again so we will be gypsies for a while. We will travel and be together wherever we can be together. And that feels exciting, scary, but again, the right thing to do because my heart is with it. And I'm looking forward to the first masterclass that I'm teaching in May to those of my students who decided they want to continue the work with me. And that will be very, very exciting. It's the first masterclass I ever give. And um, I'm very much looking forward to that. I also look forward to a new Helio Roots training starting in March online. And that will be exciting too, because the, the training will take a little bit of a different shape. New elements will be in that training and the structure will be a little bit different from before. So all of that is making me very excited and very positive. Because when I look at the world at large at the moment, there is not so much to be happy about. But I deeply believe in my heart that when we do our best to live in a loving, heartful way, each single one of us, that that is contributing to a better world, to more peace. I am not saying that all the wars that are happening right now will stop. I don't know that. And I am actually not very optimistic about that. But um, I believe that in the long term, if we try to live from our heart and be loving human beings and caring for each other, being compassionate to the suffering of other humans and other living beings, that this will slowly, slowly lead to a better world. And I stay optimistic, even if the whole world is Michigas. 
I believe in love and I believe in trust and I believe in the good in people. And I wish you the best new year to come with love and care for yourself and for your fellow human beings. Happy New Year.